Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to configure your Elastic Beanstalk application for high availability in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the Elastic Beanstalk service, then click on Create Application and give it a name. I'm going to choose Python from the platform dropdown, then select sample application and hit configure more options. Choose the high availability preset to set the recommended default values, then scroll down to the software section. Click edit and on this page, you can configure things like Amazon X-Ray, S3 log storage, streaming logs to CloudWatch and more then hit save. In the capacity section, you can configure things like the auto scaling group. For example, I can make the minimum number of instances to be two and the max to be five. I'm also going to change the processor to ARM64 and leave everything else to default, then hit save. If you edit the load balancer settings, you have the option to switch to a classic load balancer or a network load balancer. I'm going to leave it to application load balancer, then hit save. Let's leave everything else to the default setting, then click on create app. Give it a few minutes for the environment to come up, then hit refresh and click on the application's hyperlink. If you see the congratulations message yeah, 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 yeah. on your web page, that means your application is now up and running successfully. Next, let's head to the EC2 service and click on instances. Here, you should see at least two high availability EC2 instances running since we set a value of minimum of two in our auto scaling configuration. We can confirm this by navigating to the auto scaling section in the left menu, then clicking on auto scaling groups. Here, you can see the desired capacity was set to two with a minimum of two and a maximum capacity of five instances. To verify the load balancer setting, click on load balancers in the left menu. Select the load balancer that was created by the Elastic Beanstalk service and copy the DNS name. If you paste this URL in a new browser tab, you should see the same congratulations web page that we saw earlier. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.